Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of a show that you probably don't give a damn about. Anyway, as some of you guys know, I'm in the business of collecting model cars. And some of them are over here. Stuff like the Lotus Elise GT1, for instance. Daytona Cobra, Ford GT90, all that kind of good stuff. And I featured those in a video before on the channel. And for those of you who, by the way, have never seen me before, how's it going? Nice to have you. I hope you enjoy the journey. Don't mind this mess over here. It's just a bunch of games and DVDs. But the purpose of this video is because I've picked up a new one. And uh, I haven't opened it yet, so kind of an unboxing video. Well, it, it, it's it, it's literally an un unboxing video. So we are going to unbox it. And here it is. Some of you will already be able to tell what it is. I actually had another car that I was bidding on which I really wanted. Like, as much as an Espas F1. Because <laughs> I really want an Espas F1, but this other one... And some of you guys might know what this is. Some might guess wrong, some might not. It's not a Zonda. I know a lot of people would guess that. Um, but I was bidding on this other one. Well, there's no point in keeping it a secret. It's an MC12. A Maserati MC12, a 118 scale, so the same size as these, about six, no, like seven, seven and a half inch, something like that. And uh, I wanted an MC12 model because it's one of my favourite cars. I think it's a fantastic looking model. But um, I got a killer bid on it. Nobody else had bid. It was a used one with a couple of little chips on the paint, which I don't care about. I don't buy these model cars for their resale value. As you can see, I don't even keep them in the box. I'm more concerned... We're just looking at them and enjoying them, which is the way I think it should be done, but obviously each to his own. However, I was the leading bid on this MC12, £25, the only bidder, and then in the last 10 seconds it went out of my bidding range, which was so annoying. I think that's a little bit fishy myself. Maybe somebody else bid on it, but I don't know. I think it was more likely that the guy was hoping to get more than 25 quid for it and got one of his mates to bump it up in hopes that I would match the price. But maybe he didn't do that. Who knows? So, without further ado, let's open up this bad boy. As I said, some of you guys will have already guessed what this one is. It's got a pretty distinctive shape. <laughs> you can see it now because of the light shining through. As many of you guys who checked out the other video about my model cars will know, uh, I am not a fan of buying model cars that everyone gets. You know, like, oh, Ferrari Enzo, Porsche Carrera GT. You know, all the usual stuff. Not that they're bad. I've had some of... I've got some of those, I've had them in the past, but they're not my centerpieces. I prefer stuff like the Elise GT1, the GT90, cars which aren't just nostalgic to Gran Turismo, but which are just not an obvious choice of model car. Whoops, I'm breaking it already! I'm breaking it already! And there it is. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Audi V16 Type C Streamliner. Duh. 1939, of course. Skinny little tyres. <laughs> Very nice. Metal. Nice finish as well. This will be the only model that I've got which is like this unpainted finish. Looks pretty nice. Bottom is fairly smooth, as you'd expect from a streamliner. Front view, little happy face. Back view with, I believe, the the starter, the crank handle, I believe. And then the cockpit view, which is something that the Gran Turismo doesn't exactly have a good one of. Similar kind of view to what you get in the game, basically. And the engine bay... Also metal. Very nice. Try and get a good shot of that one. That sweet, sweet 16 cylinder. Yeah, pretty nice. If it was plastic, because it said in the description that it was metal, if this was plastic, then I would have been uh, much less inclined 
to actually buy it. it. Looks like the wheel wells might come. Well, not the wheel wells. The oh, working steering as well. That's cool. Nice. Um, it looks like the wheel covers may come off. But I'm not going to push it and find out. <laughs> I don't want to break it, obviously. So yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. It's very narrow and very long compared to the other ones. Uh, let's get some scale. Got a perfect one here. Another Audi. The R8R. Hmm. Left the wheel behind on the windowsill. <laughs> um, but yeah, see the kind of scale. Pretty nice. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Because there aren't that many model cars which I actually take the time to go out and buy. There are some that I would like, but uh, don't actually get around to getting them for various reasons, be it the price. A lot of the ones that I like tend to be very expensive. Stuff like the Maserati MC12. I mean, if you look on eBay and look up uh, 118 scale Maserati MC12, most of them are like like in the hundreds of pounds and although my collection here I mean I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten of them now um, with a total value of in the region of probably like two two fifty to three hundred quid uh, maybe a little bit more but individually I don't spend a huge amount on these cars clearly because altogether it's like three hundred quid whereas you can easily spend that on one model car. I also don't care about the fact whether it's new or used or even if it comes with the box. As you could see this one didn't come with the box but it's not the point. I just want the car. So yeah that's about it. Kind of a drawn out video for one vehicle but there you go. So uh, yeah that's about it and I guess I'll see you next time. So as always thanks for watching.